Now the next speaker is uh, Chief Rabbi Shai Melchior, and he's representing the Jewish community in Denmark and the Committee of the Orthodox Rabbis in Scandinavia. I'll try not to uh, repeat uh, what was said before, so uh, just uh, thank you again for organizing this uh, debate. The, my previous speakers referred to uh, the sources, why the circumcision is so important. I just want to refer you to this uh, place today. We have, we have here three representatives of the Nordic Jewish communities. We have a Jewish representative of all over Europe who came to Iceland, a country with approximately 35, 40 Jews, to come and protect the idea of circumcision. That shows the significance of how important this is to the Jewish people. And, and I have to say, I don't come here as an uh, advocate of circumcision. My goal is not to uh, convince you that circumcision is the best thing to do for your children. Um, uh, if you want to, I know some good uh, uh, people to do it. But, uh, but that, that's the case. The issue is not a medical issue. Just as we uh, told again and again. Because yes, Jews don't do it because of medical reasons. And just as Muslims don't do it because of med uh, medical reasons. It is about the question of a relation between my, uh, minorities and majorities. This ban didn't come to the world, this uh, suggestion of a ban of circumcision didn't come to the world of uh, nowhere to, uh, in Iceland. It uh, comes after a very long debate that we also saw in, uh, I don't read fluently Icelandic, but uh, in the um, uh, thing that we read in the media, it came from Danish doctors who well, I also know personally, uh, uh, talked and uh, pressed the Sami uh, people in Iceland to uh, bring this ban because they believed here there's a chance because there's no objection because there's no Jews and there's no long tradition of uh, people who, uh, uh, who do it. In Denmark, this de debate continues over, over 20 years. It's 20 years that the Jewish community that Say, uh, lived in Denmark for 400 years, for the first time is under a real threat in that way. And every, I think every, the last two years, almost every day there are articles about uh, banning circumcision in Denmark. Every, we live, at, and my family lived 400 years in Denmark. The last 20 years, the first time we need to um, we have just, uh, for the first time, we have a lobbyist working the community. Never we had to work to protect our right to be in Denmark as Jews. And this is what it is about. It, as I said, it's not about the If it was a medical question, if it was a problem, if it was something, then we could have a debate. But as soon as there's no medical indication for anything bad, then there shouldn't be any debate. Because then it's only a question of a majority that doesn't understand a minority that is different. And yes, we are different. I'm Jew. I'm different. I'm not Christian. I don't believe in the same thing. I'm not atheist. I'm not. I respect people with other views. But this is the main. Do you, as a society, do you, as a majority, come and say, we know better than all of you what is good for your children? As I said, if there was indication for any problem, then we didn't need an argument, because we, as parents, would ourselves find what would be the best for our children. We wouldn't need you if there was a question. But there is none. And that is the basic of all this discussion. It said before, as you presented about it's an unnecessary uh, treatment. It is necessary for us. And you could say, yeah, but I can't understand it because I don't believe in your Torah. Fine, I don't ask you to believe in uh, 
in my Torah. I ask you to let me believe in my Torah. This is what it is about. It's about can we have difference in our society? This is the question. And I believe. I've been in Iceland before. I met wonderful people from Iceland. I moved to Denmark from Israel. And Denmark is an amazing place, a country that saved its, uh, its Jews in, uh, in World War II. And I walked around everywhere in the world saying, I'm from Denmark. I'm from the country that, that had wanted the Jews with them, that they were happy and welcoming us coming back from Sweden after the war. And the first time when I walk in Jewish communities in the world and say I come from Denmark, they ask me, well, but why do they hate you so much? No, no, they don't. They don't. They really don't. They just don't understand how it's important for us. And yes, it's hard to explain. It's hard to understand. And I don't want you to understand. If you really want to go into it, you're welcome. But let us continue to be good parents as we try to be. This is what it is about. Through the history of the Jewish people, as it was named before, mentioned before, circumcision was attacked. It was attacked to, to, for the sake of per persecuting the Jews. I know that now it is not the same case. The reasoning behind it, I really, the people I meet, I believe they come from a positive motivation of children's rights and liberal views that are very important to the world. I don't want that the risk of taking the, uh, the idea of uh, the children convention and say this is against circumcision. What will happen if you do that is that you push out all the Jewish and Muslim com uh, countries in the world that are also signed on that uh, treaty. Because, and when you say to them, this includes uh, circumcision, that will push them out of a treaty that is so crucial for the world. We are part of one society who fight for the same things, same beliefs. And this is crucial. If you go and ban circumcision, you stable Jews and Muslims and, and other, and actually it's the United States of America because also 60%, 58% of the Americans do, uh, do that. You staple them as not part of the fight for children's rights. That's not the case. We want to fight together with you on this crucial element of freedom to everyone. We just see a circumcision as part of this. It's not my right as a child, as a father. In the Jewish perspective, it's my obligation toward my children. It's him I'm looking at. It's not my uh, ceremony. This is what we do. And yes, you don't have to do the same. It's not as I started. I'm not an advocate for circumcision. I advocate for place to every person that a society can be pluralistic and have place to everyone. Thank you.